Okay, I thought I would give you a look at what's on Jim's workbench today. Uh, starting off over here on the left, it's a little Cole Pitts crystal oscillator. If you can read the frequency on that crystal, it's uh, basically 33.33333 megahertz. And the rest is pretty unremarkable. 2N3904 and some... Uh, something I just pulled out of my box to suffice as a toroid uh, transformer. I have no idea what it's, uh, you know, what it's actually measuring. I just grabbed the first one I, I came to that looked like it would fit. Anyway, the output of that goes over to uh, the right half of this board. The left half is just ignore it. And it's just a uh, amplifier buffer stage uh, for uh, 50 ohm termination to drive a 50 ohm termination. Right now we're running about 15 volts, uh, 100 milliamps. And uh, the output of all that goes down to, uh, let's see what we got on the floor here. This is a mini circuits mixer balanced mixer, double balanced mixer that I purchased years ago at some ham fest. Anyway, this, uh, I'm using this as the local oscillator and uh, this this wire in the middle here is uh, one of my ham antennas coming in from outside and uh, the right um, connection goes up to this I don't know if you can see this or not this is a new elect RTL SDR or uh, oh, what's the proper name for them? DVT. I forget. I forget. Anyway, so uh, of course the purpose of this is as an up converter. You know, if you have a local oscillator, um, something. 24, 25 megahertz or above, and of course we're using 33 megahertz in this example, and uh, you have enough signal out of that, and you can run it into the mixer and then plug your hem antenna in. You can take the output of that and put it up to the new elect, and uh, something like SDR Sharp is uh, what software we're running here, and. Uh, It'll work. You can listen to the ham bands then. Uh, so we're up converting. I don't see. Let's give you a little listen. Uh, it actually works pretty well. Um, I'm really amazed, in fact, at how well it does work. This is, I think, I think this is 3.5 megahertz. I don't know. I have to go down here to my uh, calculator, the actual center frequency, let's see if I can do this using the camera at the same time, it's 33, 33, 17, 40, um, actually I should, have, I should have done this the other way, um, it won't matter though, what is that, 40, 355, 330, I'm just going to say, Minus 43, 30. And the difference in those should be the frequency. Okay, so we're up on 40 meters. I forgot where I was. So basically, right now we're listening to uh, 7.023590. So in the CW portion of 40 meters and you know what's so cool is you can see the whole spectrum practically we're kind of zoomed in at the moment but let's see we can zoom out over here let's see so now we're looking at uh, a large portion anyway of seven meters, and this is probably some broadcast band interference right here. I'm not really sure. Haven't uh, dug into it yet. Just just got this working, so we're gonna zoom back in here.
Whoops, I'm tuning instead of zooming. Uh, so I can tune that guy back in. Or I can come over here and listen to this guy. Who's <laughs> more my speed on the key. And uh, this guy looks like he's burning it up. Yeah, what's this guy? This is not CW, is it? Yeah. He's just got a really strong signal. Now, really, this guy is more my speed on the key. I haven't been... I haven't been... I'm rusty. My CW is so bad right now. Anyway, knocking around on the band. Uh, I wonder if there's any voice traffic that we can see. And here's a guy. Here's a guy I can copy. He's doing a fine job, too. Okay. Let's see if we can get up into the phone portion of the van. So, LSB. I need to tune up, don't I? Did I go too far? I think I did. Baker, X-ray, India, over. W3CRZ. WB3CRZ. WB3CRZ. Bob, nice signal. Uh, Bob, thank you. W4BXI, John, BH25. You see how clear it sounds? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a geek. I'm amazed. Anyway, just wanted to let you see what was going on at the moment on Jim's workbench.